Right, hello everyone. Right, I'm back out again in local woods. This time I've come to the bigger one. Um, got a few dog walkers in here, but I've been told you didn't get any bother. So, this is my area for the night. So, I'm just going to be parking my backside around this area here. Um, in about hammock in here. Just got to check a few trees and that. Make sure these big ends aren't dodges out. All right, so just got to do me drills and then I'll get set up and bring you back. All right, stick around, it's going to be fun. Right, I just thought I'd bring you while I'm having a quick walk around before I set up my area where I'm thinking of is down there. Oh, sorry, there. I've just seen the red on my Bergen. Um, looks like somebody's had a campfire there. But the idiots have done it, I'll take you over later on, show you. They've done the fire right underneath a branch that's hanging over, just there. What plonkers. Bet he's got a bit of open area to run around. Just seeing a deer when we're walking in a swell. There's loads of them around here, like. But, uh, yeah. Betty, come here. Come. Come. Good girl. I'm just looking for a decent spot. I think I might have found another one there. I don't know, I wouldn't have too far off from Bergen Lake. But if I've got somewhere that's got a nice bench to sit on, it'd be even better like. So, and this is looking like a nice little area here. Well, I'll tell you what, if anybody's going to run off from Bergen, they've got a heavy Bergen to yomp, yomp with. Hey, I'll tell you what, this could be my little area, this lake. Trees look all right and all need dodginess. I think there's a footpath just over there somewhere like, but I could hammock in here, have my back end there, come in there, have a little fire there, get loads of rubble and make a barrier. Sounds like a plan. Right, I'm moving location. Right, bring us back in a bit. Right, home sweet home for the night. It's not a great setup. It's probably the worst setup I've ever had with my hammock. Um, as long as I'm under cover, it's not going to rain the night. Hammock's all sorted. Betty's by uh, see beds in there. I'll get that out last minute.com for her. Um, that's going to be my view of the night. Pause. I'm going to have my fire hidden away from there because there's a bit of an entrance there and there's a bit of a footpath up the top there when I went up to that last bit I got set up and then uh, Betty come here Hi, I went up to that other bit that I showed you um, and I went and got set up there It's no good like, it was too much in the open Beast charming a little corner out the way The trees aren't too bad I've had a good look at the trees up above us and that um, so I've got the back right down just to give us a bit of privacy from there and a bit of a shield from my fire later on tonight I'm just going to have a tiny little fire I'm just going to have a fire just about here so I'll just get my trowel out get a fire there, have a very very small one there's plenty of wood over here um, just a process, little twigs and all that um, I grabbed some I should have looked through there, like it's a nice place down there. Betty, come here. I'm going to put her tied up in a minute because she tends to run off. Um, where have I got it? I've got my um, foraging bag. I had that on my side of my Bergen, so I've just filled it up with loads of dry bits of um, hay and that. Off a bale just outside the woods. So I think Betty's getting hungry and thirsty, because I am as well. well. I'm not hungry, I'm thirsty though. What time have we got now? It's half past seven already. But yeah, I'll tell you what, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Mind you, I didn't come until after six o'clock, like. So I've just been mucking around too much, trying to get things perfect instead of just getting set up. It's going to be a nice, dry, clear night. It's it's nice and warm. I'm still in t-shirt order. Lovely and peaceful in here, though. I will take you for a walk and we'll see. See what it's, uh, my sight looks like from up the distance. I'll just turn you off and bring us back in a bit. Ah, you can just about see it. Oh, 
There it is, look at the state that looks minging, doesn't it? But it'll do. It's because the trees aren't separated properly. Um, I was going to come up this area, but about 100 yards up that direction, there's a path going all the way up there. Obviously, you get dog walkers in here, like it's a nice little spot and all. Um, a couple of nice little hammock areas up here, but I just wasn't sure. At least I'm down there now, and from here, look at you can't kind of hardly see us. Where am I? Oh, is that it? There you go. On. It's a bit more camouflaged from the path down there. So that's happy days, like. Very scared the pigeons. But I, so peaceful, so happy. Now that woods, less of a less of a walk in from the um, from the parking area as well. About less than half. So, um. I'd just like to say to all my subscribers, uh, new and old, thank you very much. Um, my subscriptions have just jumped up a canny bit in the last week and a half. Um, so thank you very much everybody that's just subscribed to us as well. Welcome on board, hope you are enjoying the videos. Um, please leave comments, um, whether positive or negative. I can't take it on the chin a bit, but do be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just learning like everybody else is. Alright. Um Yeah. So this is another woods and anyway. Enough rattling on about me. I'm just gonna get myself some wood nuts set up, ready, get a fire pit dug, and uh I'll bring this back later on. Hopefully I'll be sat and chilled out. Ah so I need to make something to sit on. I didn't bring a chair with us out. Bring a chair. I normally bring a little stool and that where it's like, oh, itchy head, mozzies are out like. Right, get some cream on, get a chair sorted, and some firewood in a pit. Get Betty some food and water. Happy days. See you in a while. Everything's a little bit damp like. 
because I had a bit of rain yesterday and I've left me foraging for me firewood far too late and it's dark so I haven't been able to find the correct stuff that I need but hopefully this will get me fire going and I can start getting some better stuff on if I can find some you can see it's, it's looking damp but hopefully it'll dry itself out as long as I didn't smother it too much Turn it on. Come on, catch the bugger. I'm going to feel on that, and it's pitch black. Army cotton wool here. Yeah. Got fax lean on it, like. Hopefully, this will go to light. Got to have a fire. Don't get a fire, I'm knackered. Even Betty's saying how weird they are. Get a fire going. Get a fire going. Still put more of this in just to give it that extra little bit of fight. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm gonna win. All the heat off this is going to dry this bit out. Let's not smother it though. I still need a gap to get in there. In case I need to shove anything else in it. And sharp that. And these bare steel. Always make sure you pick your kit up. I've seen a few videos where people leave that kit lying around right next to the fire. I'll tell you what, I think that's gone now, isn't it? Yeah. Get that last bit on there. Get that bit more fire stuff in there. Now I need to start prepping some of this and I'm going to get a can as well. So, turn this light off. Oh, bright red light, red light. <laughs> well, that was nearly a mega fail, wasn't it? But it's going nicely now. Cotton wool and Vaseline, love it, love it. 
I've got fat wood there as well, but I didn't use it anymore. So I'm gonna get this other bits of wood done so I can get these processed and I can get a fire going. And I've got a tree over there I can keep on going back and forth, see, and chopping a bit off because it's a dead fall and it's solid wood and I, I don't know what kind of wood it is. I'll keep a bit for in the morning and I'll show you. All right, but I'll catch you in a bit. Whoop, not the camera. Hey, well, cheers everybody. This is the life. I've got a couple of tiny little logs and me a um, little foam mat thing to sit on. Fire's going. I thought I was going to struggle, you know, but it's absolutely better. Other wood I've got here, it's solid. I'm going to clue what it's called, like, but um, the heat off it's absolutely amazing now. Oh, I've got tons of it. And there's a load more behind where you are. Um, it's just, well, that's fell out on the ground. So it's a little bit damp, but I've just got a pile down here next to the side of the fire just to help it dry out a bit. But it's working sweet as a nut. Got a couple of cans with us. But he's just had some food. Where's uh, shit? So she's just lying down behind me. I'm going to get our bed out for her in a minute so she can lie on her bed. So, well, that's a bit better where I've just moved to. It's higher up. Um, Aye, so it's just basically a chill night, the night like. Um, I thought I would have had a bit of company off a lad from uh, North East Bushcraft the night, but uh, you know, got back in contact with us. Um, and to be quite honest, in the last hour and a half, I haven't really checked my phone. Um, trying to stop it as much as I can now while I'm out. So. I'll probably be posting something soon. <laughs> um, yeah, nice woods this. It's absolutely pitch black like. Uh, never seen a single person. Uh, my brother-in-law was going to pop down with his dog just for a brew. Uh, but he never turned up either. I've never camped in here before. So, fingers crossed nothing goes wrong. Um, this is about... 10 times the size of the woods I was in on my last one but it's just down the road from it um, I've got a few more things in the planning and um, different types of camps I want to do a, um, a 10 pound challenge at the pound shop and come out with just the items that I buy from there and that's it and the clothes I'm wearing um, another one um, what was the other one I wanted to do? I think there was another one before that but I was going to bring me food out but I've decided I'm going to do a £10 challenge from the pound shop see what I can do I'll either do it in this woods or the other one um, so I'll not be bringing anything at all but when I'm starting then so obviously I'll have to buy like, some sort of cutting tool I'll have to buy water food cooking utensil and some sort of thing to make a shelter um, I don't know when I'm going to do that though maybe a while yet I've got a few more things I need to do and places I need to be um, but that's it really right I'm going to stop waffling for now and uh, I'm going to get this beer down my neck I'm nice and warm I might take me the top off before Right there again, I'm waffling still on that. Right, so oh, catch us in a bit. Well, I just thought I'd quickly show you around we set up. It's now, that's wrong time because me clock's wrong on it, so it's now five past nine. Um, bet he's in a little bed, look. I've got it um, tied up. It's got plenty of room to move around though, but uh, I just didn't want to run off into West Strange Woods, where she doesn't know where she is. Not that she doesn't anyway. Well, she, she does during the daytime, but no, I've never seen her do it on the night time. So I've got my hammock up, uh, instead of ground dwelling. This is just me and Betty. Bergen's up on a tree. Got me little lantern but light with us. Uh, lighthouse lantern thing, it's called. Uh, I've got another two cans down the bottom there, and I'm still drinking the first one. I've made a little makeshift seat with two bits of log and my little mat. 
got enough wood here to last us the night. It's uh, quite solid this wood. I'm not quite sure what it's called. It's uh, it's well seasoned like. Um, I got it from over here. Um, there's a couple of felled trees. I've just been cutting bits off it. All right. Um, it looks like it's been there for quite a while, and it's burning lovely. Don't need a huge fire, but it's warm. So that's me set up. Um, lovely and quiet. The odd plane going off in the background, but um, apart from that, like happy days. I've just put this on as I've been away from the fire for a bit, and I just started getting a bit of a chill because I was sweaty. Um, but yeah, happy days out again. Um, I was going to go out Sunday night, but I end up going to work. Uh, doing a 12 hour shift and I think I'm back in this Sunday as well so I was going to go down to Camp Bob and see the lads but unfortunately I'll not be doing that now um, and I've got my car going in for a service and then we'll tee and everything on my, uh, my days off so I'll not be doing any camping next week at all and I've got a few paying jobs to do in the house boring trivia stuff but it's got to be done so the wife's busy Doing that studying and all that, I'll just get me calm while I'm sitting tight here. Um oh, it's better. Either way, staying a bit more studying, so hence why I'm here tonight. And I've asked work if I can have tomorrow night off. So if I get that off, happy days, I'll definitely be working Sunday though. Um it just works out better for me and it works out better for them the way the work's coming in at the minute. Um but if it does, I'd probably get out for a day and go and wreck you a few other just little bits of woods and all that around this area. Uh, see the lay of the land, see see if there's anybody about in it. And then do a few more camps out local. Already got a parking area sorted, of course, safe as houses. Um, didn't seem to be getting any bother in here at all. Fingers crossed. Hopefully it'll be like that all the time. But like you say, I haven't got a huge fire gun, it's just a little tiny one. <laughs> Bloody things flying in my face. Right, so anyway, cheers everybody. And I've got the real McCoys this time. Yeah. So that's the real ones. Not the Aldi specials. Right, and anyway, happy days. Just having a couple. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh hi. I think we me swearing's been knocked on the head now like I, I don't think I swear anymore even more or less has come to this home that I hardly swear so I'll be having to check through all my videos see how many times I swore get a total up and I'll just round it up to the highest figure see like if it's if it's 53 quid I'll round it up to 60 quid and then I'll get in contact with um, Macmillan nurses and see a way of getting it donated to them and videoing it as well just to show you that I have done it um, I think it's a good charity in any way they've done a lot for my father when he was passing away um, as well as the nurses in the, in the hospitals as well um, and the doctors but anyway I'm not going to go down a doom and gloom uh, it's a great charity and I'm more than happy to put my hand in my pocket and pass some cash onto them so that's enough about that and I might bring us back later, I might not. See you in a bit. Well, I don't know what this wood is, but I tell you what, it burns a treat like. I've had next to no wood all night and my fire's still going and it's 10 past 11 at night. Um, oh, that's bright that big. 
Oh damn me. Um, I'm just starting my third can. Um, just sitting chilling. I've actually had to stand up because my backside is killing us. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a little blue mat. I'll show you. The, I don't know how you can see it. I've got that little blue mat thing there, but I've been sitting on this. Uh, it's not, it's not the comfiest thing, like, but it's better than sitting on the floor. I put Betty's coat over the top of her. She's giving us a dirty look. So say, shut up, dad. I'm trying to sleep, man. Uh, got me radio on still, but I fire. It's lush like, I just love being out, love it, it's just like living the dream isn't it? Um, I'll just tell you what, I'll turn this music off a second, well the radio off a second, the volume, just in case I get done for, um, what do you call it? Can't remember what it's called now, but in any rate, I, um, lush and quiet in here. Odd creaks and crones of trees and bushes and that. Um, but not much really. The odd branch snapping, but it's probably just animals and that. If anybody's watching us, then they're not seeing much of it. <laughs> but if they are, then crack on. Know what I mean? Um, aye. It's not a bad woods, this, like, massive. Um, what I'll do is, on my next uh, bit of recording, I'll put on the night night mode and see if we can pick anything up in the distance. Alright, so I think I'll do that now actually, so catch us in a little while. Right, so we're on night mode now. Um, don't know if it's picked anything up like... Oh, got the... Definitely some white and ruined in here, like lots of clunks and kicks. But in any rate, let's have a look there. Let's go and see. Is there somebody in here? Is there somebody watching me? Bet he's up looking because I'm walking around the corner, you see. You can see lights in the distance, but that's houses and that. What? It's probably just animals and that walking around, man. The odd branch falling off the trees. You know what I'm getting? But well, I'm getting paranoid. I couldn't care me. No, I'm a bird. I mean, no, it's gonna, no, it's gonna hurt us, is it? Yeah, unless I get attacked off somebody, which I very much doubt that's gonna happen. What? I'll tell you what like it's a lot chillier when you're um, away from the fire like I've actually got let's see if you can see it turn me torch off see what it looks like now it's just pitch black in it Right, in any rate, it's enough of that one. Well, ten to twelve. I still burn well. A lot of heat coming off that lake. Uh, and there's some bird making little noises in the background. Sounds better. Oh, still just sitting chilling. Turn my music off. Starting to get a bit tired now. What? Loving it. Aye, that wood has burned really well. 
I've still got still got them bits there, this bit, a couple of bits there, that bit over there. Oh happy days. Can't see now out there like I haven't got my light on. My torch on. What? Happy days. Living the dream. Yeah. Try I live in it, aren't we? That's how hot my fire is. Look how quick that briar, that branch went up there. You know what I mean? Good little fire that. Well. I'm gonna call this oh red light. Red light. <laughs> right, this is gonna be my final recording for the night. I'm gonna finish my car off, brush my teeth, and then uh, I'm gonna hit the sack. Because it's now twelve o'clock at night and I'm tired. Alright, so if you're still watching <sighs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Well, if you're still watching anyway, thank you for that. Um, hope it hasn't been too boring. Oh, but it's nice just to get out and chill out in front of a fire. And now I'm gonna go and chill out in front of in front of a fire in my hammock. Make sure I bet he's sorted. And then uh, I'll see you in the morning when I get me traditional porridge and cup of tea on the go. Hopefully the fire will have enough embers and I'll be able to cook around that. If not, I've got my little gas stove with us. Oh, happy days. Right, no waffling. See you in a while. Right then, it's now half past twelve at night. I'm in my comic. Um, quite warm. I've got my trousers on the inside of my hammock. But off, obviously offers, um, but I've got them underneath my knees, and it's the first time I've ever tried that. And you know what it is? It feels so comfortable because I normally feel like my knees are getting pushed down over. But having something under your knees and your hammock's much, much comfortable. Like, um, but he's in her bed. I've got my softy jacket out for her. She's got a um, a dog jacket on, a bed. And I'll just turn this around so you can see. And she's got my big softy jacket right over the top of her. It's not really cold. The fire's still going nicely. Um, I've had my three cans. They're empty. Right, I go in the bin in the morning. Got my water and everything handy. So yeah. I really sorry my hands in the way and everything. I, I've really enjoyed myself. Uh, it's been nice and nice and chilled. So I'm just going to sit and relax now. Uh, no music or nothing, and just listen to the end of the night. There's a lot of planes taking off, like a lot of people going home, or a lot of people going on a lovely holiday. But you yeah, kind of. You can't beat lying in your hammock in a woodland, in woods, sorry, not woodland, in woods, with a fire gun, having a few tinnies, listening to some music. But, in any way, don't want to bore you anymore. Uh, well, I hope I didn't bore you, like. But, in any way, it's time to say adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Arriva Dirty and whatever else. Hi. <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.
<sighs> well, morning everybody. It's, uh, it's got me hat on. It's, it's uh, about 20 to 7 in the morning. It's uh, <sighs> oh, yeah, me. Well, I've been awake about four or five times last night. Yeah, I didn't have any yeah, plugs in. Um, the planes. The planes, the planes, boss. <laughs> the planes coming. <laughs> Hi, um, the planes are kind of low here, like. But, never mind. I'm so tired, like, I might go back to sleep, but. I phoned work last night to see if my Sunday, if I was changing my shift from Wednesday to Sunday again this week, but the need is in Wednesday night, which is tonight. So I'm going to get up because I need to get home and back to bed this afternoon. So there's no point in sleeping for ages. I want to enjoy me bit of time out. Um, Betty's never hardly budged all night. Like she got up once. That's it. So she's still in a pit. There she is. Oh, good girl, aren't you? Hello, Betty, darling. Hello, my darling. Yes, yes, my girl. Eh? Oh, yes, you're rolling that much. You're coming up your bed. <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> Mm. Right, so in any way, I no bad sleep. It's a little bit chilly this morning. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Jesus Christ. I am. Um, canny night. Didn't drink me little bottle. Just had three cans. Um, sat and chilled. Bit of uh, Facebooking on me groups and that. Well, on uh, North East Bushcraft. Didn't do a live feed this time. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I think I could easily go back to sleep now, mainly, but I'm going to get up, get dressed, hire a brew on, get some breakfast. Saw me, saw me little pile of rubbish out which is three cans so I didn't cook anything last night had a massive tea before I come out um, yeah so I'll get myself sorted out squared away and then I'll bring his back all right season a bit
Watch it. Same again, survived yet another night. But, right, call me brew kitten here. Yeah. Give me cup. Get that prepped now. Tea bag. Three sugars in this morning. Just all the stuff like you pick up at service stations and things, and bits out of ration packs and that. Just get them all used instead of using the stuff I use at home. Got enough water in this pot. To make me brew, me breakfast, and then wash me dishes. Oh, happy days. Put all my rubbish together. Put in the bag. Just this brew kit and just put my pocket out the way. Golden syrup, oats mix. Just have two of these a day in the mornings when I'm away. Again. We just put this on a fire, but I'm not making a fire this morning. Even though the fire is nice and warm still, I just want to um, let it cool right down and I'm going to tie it up and disperse the mass ashes. You move away from there now, and eat your food. Betty's being greedy. Right, so Betty's had her food. She had a lot of dry food in there and a wet food. Now I've got another wet food and loads of dry food in here for her for this afternoon. You can see. Um, I've still got my dinner to cook later on. Before I go home, I'm just going to have um, pasta. Sorry, it's spinning around. I'm just going to have some pasta and some uh, pasta and sausage mix with a cup of tea for me dinner later. Um, I'm just going to get packed up and all that. Um, get this place squared away. I've got a bin bag where it is, because um, the last time I was here there was a load of rubbish in this one as well, so I'm going to go around tidy it up a bit, because there's no worse than coming to the woods and seeing cans and bottles lying all over the place. It'll probably be the same the next time I come, but at least on that, I'm doing my bit and taking away all the rubbish that all the idiots leave. So, but yeah, not a single sign of anybody or heard anybody that last night. Absolutely fantastic. Um, heard a few branches snapping and things like that, but it's probably just 
branches falling off the uh, trees or it could have been deer or anything walking around or it could have been someone sniping around, we never know but I wasn't bothered like I enjoyed my night it was a late one night, I didn't get into bed until about half 11, 12 o'clock um, I think I woke up about four times oh. but I lovely Oh, there's me, there's me brew, there's me water boiling. Look, it doesn't take long on this gas stove. We'll just get that turned off and get me stuff sorted. Bet he's, bet he's standing there looking. She had my hair, uh, me softy jacket last night as her, as her blanket, and our bed. And she I, I had a jacket on as well, like I'll leave that jacket on for a little bit longer because it's a little bit chilly this morning and uh, I'm just going to go and make me cup of tea and me brew uh, cup of tea and brew, me brew and me um, porridge get that down your neck and then I'll bring this back when I start getting squared away in that got a bit of ash on me top so hopefully there's been no little burns because obviously the fire was a bit close last night to what I normally have but I didn't want to be sitting miles away from army gear um, I wanted to be sitting next to me top right I'm waffling so I'm gonna go on. I'll get myself sorted, squared away, washed, teeth done, food and then I'll bring you back Right then, that's me just about packed, but I'm not leaving, I'm staying for, what time is it now, 20 to 9, stay for a couple more hours, have a walk around and that, I think I might try and do something that I've never done before, I'm just uh, airing off me ground mat, um, find a little few bits and pieces to put in my bergen, and that's it. But just there, uh, that's the area where I was. There's my fire area there. I was sitting there. Obviously, you can see the little patch on the ground, so I'll get like, some leaf growing over that. And that's it, really. Just got my brew to finish off, and then brush my teeth, sort her dishes out. Got another two litres of water there for the day in case I decide to cook. Um, but yeah. Whoa, well, Betty. Betty, Betty Boo. She's loving it. I'll take her jacket off her soon because she'll be getting warm. Oh, but yeah. Lovely little thing in here. I've just uh, been having a look in here. Be to make a little den in there, like. So that might be another, a different camp. Just come out in there. Uh, a few bin bags and that. We got a little shelter in there, little survival shelter, so that'd be canny. Um, yeah, I like it here. Yeah. It was nice and quiet last night. I think because the kids are back at school, they're not coming out into the woods at the night time now. So it'll probably be like they're on a weekend, like, so best time for me is like a Sunday night, Monday night. Oh, happy days, right? I'm gonna stop waffling. Uh, get finished off. Bit of admin to do. And I'll bring you back when I find something to do.